recommendation, Griff? Whatever's gonna kill most of them, and leave a few for me. so that those we fight for do not lose. There are billions of people back home who don't know what we're doing, but they will know exactly what we've done. Good luck out there. <laughs> Our primary objective is infiltrating the orbital platform. Flying directly up to the shipyard is a no-go due to their active intercept system, so this is a ground assault. Ethan's bots will create a diversion while our ravens insert on the edge of the platform's perimeter. There are three any air guns that need to be taken out before our birds can move in and provide support. I'll prime the ordnance I commandeered from the Olympus Mons to hit those AA turrets. Captain, I'll give you access to a drone to designate those strike positions. Hey, should be a blast. <laughs> Affirmative, Ethan. After the guns are down, we push into the facility and ascend to the shipyard. Dock in five seconds. Copy, Boggs. It's go time! Roger, be advised. LC is hot. Raider flight to Bravo 1. Follow for infill from the west. All elements, stand by for insert! Touchdown. Guns up!
Those A's won't let up. Target marked! Be advised, first AA gun is down! Copy, Commander. Echo support element is inbound. They'll get you through the door. Echo is on station at the gate. Engineers, cut us a hole! Roger, Bernie!
Copy, friendlies approaching.
Enemy contact! Second floor! 12 o'clock! Us now. Sir, I can engage the emergency lock before we get to the summit. We'll 
We'll go exterior. Our boost tricks will give us an edge. Ambush the ambush. Once we're clear, we can move the elevator up. Affirmative. Salt, Chief, you with me. Brooks, Ethan, if we don't make it, you head up there and kick all the ass you can find. Ethan can fly that ship. Solid copy, Commander. Plan is to rally at the top. Get her done, sir. Hold it here, Ethan. Roger. Hang on. Got incoming. On you, Reyes. We need to keep the element of surprise. Let's move. Eyes open. They're deploying every bot they have. Means our forces are putting up a fight down there. Let's see if we can help them out and disable these launches. Salt, you got one of those charges? Here you go. Doors opening. She did that so we keep going. The others are still counting on us. You're right. Let's go stop that ambush. up here and get to that ship. Raj. Ready to load off, Captain. Thanks, sir. 
Where's the chief? She didn't make it. We gotta go. Clear. All clear. Which ship is it, Ethan? Right there. That's a destroyer. It's got a full payload. Can we use it? To fight our way out? No. To level this place. The ship won't fire, Captain. The weapon system is not enabled. Forget the weapons. Let's release the moorings, key in a drop, and go. Boats, how can we enable the payload? Firing control, sir. Where's firing control? Command center, ma'am. It's a shuttle ride, that way. Who's gonna do that? Me. You'll never make it back to the ship. If we wait, they'll fire on us. You're not gonna wait. Captain. How will you get home? No one's going home. You board that ship and you terminate this place all. Do as much damage as you can before SDF takes you out. I can do both. I can hit the shipyard and drop out of here. You won't have time. Watch me. You got the green light to do whatever it takes. Just finish the mission. Everybody good with this? You don't need a crew to launch. We'll have to fight our way on. Shuttle. Brooks, take him out. Ethan, with me. No, ma'am. Captain's gonna need my help to get to the command center. Damn you both. Did you know we were gonna finish this here? No. I think Mac did. Well, I guess I'll see you both in hell. Count on it. Okay, gentlemen, let's move out! Fair winds. Affirmative, Ethan. I'm into their network. Got eyes on you now. What about enemy positions? Got eyes on those two, sir. This is suicide, Reyes. I gave my order, Salt. The captain doesn't always bring his men home. Not always. This is your staff, sir. Looks to be clear. Check. Room. Should be full of stock you can swipe. Last call, huh? Regrettably, sir. All set. Where to? All the way to the floor. Guns close. Copy. Hostile airships are moving to your sector. Copy. Eyes on. Out. Captain, you got company on the exit.
Got no cover. I'll take care of that. Hostile airships are moving to your sector. Copy. Eyes on. Out. Captain, you got company on the exit. Thank you. 
the access shaft. Upper left. Copy that. Raider, we're dug in with the Marines. Taking fire. Sir, we're getting stitched up over here. No time for waste. Moving as fast as I can. Hold them off. Ethan! Thanks, partner. In spite of the situation, I'm enjoying myself, sir. Me too.
sense they've shut down the switches on the lock. I can blow the relays from here and release the moorings manually, but I'll need your help. I'll come back. No time. Car interference may disable my processor. Hack into my system and you can keep me moving. Use the hacking module. I got line of sight to your location, sir. Okay. I'm in. Pretty strange. It's very unusual, sir. What do we do? Distribution room. Down the steps, Captain. We'll pull the fuses, overload the circuits, and melt the relays on the ship lock. Ethan, why do you need me for this? Core is electromagnetic. Shock may disable my processor. I'll need your help to stay mobile. Get me inside the distribution room and we can overload it in time. My chassis can sustain temps well above this, sir. Keep moving. Core room is just up ahead. Both officers aware of the imminent danger. In spite of extensive casualties planned and skillfully executed, an attack with unwavering devotion to their duty. Commander Reyes and Lieutenant Salter gallantly offered their own lives and those of their crew, mobilizing at close range against superior firepower. The operation eliminated vital numbers of enemy vessels and destroyed the settlement defense France orbital shipyard. The officer's commitment exhibited the highest traditions of our naval service. Peace to the fallen.
to my dearest wife Sarah, my son Noah, and my daughter Abby. If you're reading this, I can tell you with the utmost confidence that I'd die for something right and just. The cost of war is higher than any one life, and I happily give mine in defense of my men and family. Abby, I'm sorry I didn't keep my promise when I said I was coming home. My hopes for your future gave me the strength to protect everything we hold dear. You will always be Daddy's little girl. Noah, be an honest man. Keep your word. Only use violence as a last resort. You're the man of the house now. Sarah, please keep our baby safe. And find it in your heart to forgive me for leaving you alone. If my last breath is not in the battlefield, then surely it will be in your arms. Keep me in your hearts. Always. For my dear wife Olivia and my daughter Nisreen. If you are reading this, I guess I didn't make it home. I was prepared to face danger and death. I hope I did so with dignity. My time was cut short, but I had countless blessings. I married the perfect woman. I have a brand new daughter on the way. I'd be selfish to ask for more. I love you, Olivia. Welcome our baby into this world and cherish her for me. Remind her about her daddy. And please, never be afraid to do what you need to find happiness. Nisreen, hello, sweetheart. I left for this tour before you were born. I'm sorry I won't be able to see you grow up. Daddy wanted to make the world a better place. That's why we made you. Keep me in your prayers and try to do one good deed every day. Be safe, my family. Victor. My dearest children. Well, as this letter will only be used in the event of my death, it may seem somewhat sorrowful, but I don't want you to see it that way, okay? I have always felt that our stay on Earth, the time we call life, <laughs> it's a temporary gift to be spent in service of something greater than ourselves. Death comes to us all. It is not to be feared. I loved my job but I hated war. But the secret mission I undertook every single day was to protect the two of you from anyone or anything that threatened your health and well-being. So promise me, you will take care of one another and please live your lives to the fullest. With all the love in my heart, Mum. Sir, we're behind enemy lines now in the heat of battle. Time is short. You've given an order from which there is likely no return. You did what had to be done. All in. I'm proud of you. You're a born leader, sir. Today was one of the worst days in history. And uh, forgive me for saying it, but it was the greatest day of my life. I did everything I was trained for and more. Together, we fought the good fight. Over Titan, you said we were brothers. I always wanted to know what a family really is. Now I do. Admiral Reigns told me that a soldier is only as good as his last mission. If this is ours, then I can say with certainty, we were damn good, sir. Better to burn out than it is to rust. Metal one, out. Sir, I'm not quite sure how a son greets his father after not seeing him for a lifetime. I guess I'll say hi to head. I finally tracked down your address through the Human Resource Department in Washington. I had to use my birth certificate to prove we were related. I want you to know I followed in your footsteps. I joined the Navy 
thought it would make you proud. And if we ever saw each other, we'd have more to talk about. I went to sniper school to be a sharpshooter, but my vision changed. I became an instructor. I'm currently deployed aboard the UNSA Carrier Retribution. My mom Sandy passed away this year. I went back to the old house just before shipping out and found a box with your Silver Star for Valor. I forgive you for leaving. I hope you're not mad at me for writing. Thanks for helping bring me into this world. I did my best to be a good man. Maynard Griffin. Marta, the Navy has made my life a long distance love affair. The things I love are all far away, my home, my animals, you. I am doing important work. I'm ready for anything, even this. The military did not take my life. I volunteered it. I know this isn't easy. Please don't cry for me or us. Cry for a world that couldn't make peace. I think of you and my heart races. I smile, I laugh out loud, and people tell me I always seem so happy. I am. I have you. Yours forever, Yetide. Hey, Mom. Dad, when I joined the Marines, I told you that I'm ready to give my life for fighting for a good cause. If I don't come home for any reason, then that's what happened. I hope I died doing something heroic. And in the long run, I hope that I made you proud. I promised myself I wouldn't get close to people here, but it's kind of impossible not to. I wasn't scared here. But I was homesick. Mom, I had a dream last night that you were making dinner. Yes, my favorite pork chops. <laughs> and we were all at the table together. Tell Aunt Joyce I said hi and I love her. And give Bailey a big kiss and a new tennis ball from me. Everyone here has a mother and father. But you and Dad only have one son. So I'm sorry I didn't make it back. Simplify, your loving son, Todd. Dear Andrew, it's Fleet Week. More ships are dry docked against the dawn sky. I'm home, but it's not home without you. I know I had what every woman envied, a husband that gave life more meaning. You were my handsome better half. Since the day we locked eyes, I thought of you constantly. I still do. The internal drive that earned me my rank cost me a marriage. The Navy imbued me to accomplish the mission and never quit. To that end, I'll never stop loving you, no matter where or when I go. Thank you. Being together was a gift. With love always, Laura.